welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is seven fall looks for you guys. This way I can cover a whole entire week for you. I'm not going to put these um, outfits in any particular order. This way, depending on your week, you could decide which outfit is best for you for that week. So this way, if Mondays you have like a super like casual day, you can maybe pick my most casual outfit and wear it that day. And you get what I'm trying to say. So I have seven looks for you guys and I'm really excited to show you them all. And these are pieces that I've been loving and I'm so excited to share them with you and I feel like this is a little bit better than a clothing haul because you guys can see how I actually style them and actually wear them day to day. Rather than a try on haul, I just kind of throw them on with whatever buttons I have on that day. But now you're seeing them, how I would actually style them and how I actually did style them because all of these outfits I wore to meetings, meeting up with my friends or on the weekend. So I'm just gonna jump right into it and get started. And for these first three looks these three coats were all from the brand petite studio this is a new brand I heard of they're located in New York I love 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 their outerwear their quality is amazing and these three qu quotes <laughs> these three coats are all from there so starting off with the first one I'm obsessed with this long coat it's different from a normal plaid coat because it's just plaid detailing on the pockets and the collar. It's really just a chic coat for everyday life. I paired it back with light wash Levi's, a white top, and white booties. Kept it super casual. I personally just had a casual Monday this week. I had a few meetings to run to, but nothing crazy that I had to wear a super high heel or a blazer or anything like that. But it was still very professional, so this coat's perfect to wear to work or perfect to wear street style. You can make it either go either way. I don't know if that was English, but anyway, moving on. Next up, this is probably one of my favorite coats out of the three, and this is a really fun light blue fur coat. I've actually styled this twice so far. I've styled it very casually, but you guys will see I had an event this night, so I wore it with black bottoms, white top, and a blue bag to match it. Love how it came out. I got so many compliments on it. This jacket is so beyond soft. You are going to want to live in it all fall. It's the most gorgeous color. I love the crop of it. It's not super long, so you don't look like a huge marshmallow and it's just a nice fit i think that's what i really like about this brand i mean i guess it's in their name petite studio so it's made for people who are petite and for me like if i go into a normal department store and i buy a coat usually they are huge on me and i feel like this company all their coats just fit me perfectly um with that said moving on to coat number three this is a classic plaid coat i love this one i personally wore this one on the weekend so i wore it back with black joggers a black sweatshirt some white sneakers kept it super casual this is like the perfect weekend wear whether you're going to brunch just running around in soho shopping running errands that's personally what i did that day I had a lot of, you know, returns and stuff and a lot of things like that. So I was just personally in Soho. But I love this coat. I think the fit is so great. You could definitely dress it up if you have events or work. Or you could keep it casual, which is what I did. Okay, next up, this look. You guys seem to love this coat. I'm all about puffer coats this season. I think they're so fun. I love the cropped ones. And what I loved about this one is that it was pink, velvet, and cropped. And I'm not usually a pink person. If you go through my feed, I, like, never wear pink. Something about this color was really pretty it was like a really pretty blush color pink so it wasn't like too in your face pink and I kind of edged it up with how I styled it so I wore it back with a wax coated um, lace up jean which I am loving a white t-shirt black booties some cool layered necklaces and a cool pair of sunglasses to make it a little bit more edgy to make it more my style um, like I keep saying pink isn't really me but you could definitely still make it look really cool and edgy I wore this look, I had a few meetings downtown and then I just went shopping. Um, I'm constantly ordering stuff online and a lot of the stuff I end up ordering doesn't fit me, which you guys don't usually see because I don't style it or wear it. Um, so I'm constantly running into stores to swap out for smaller sizes. So I feel like I'm in Soho three times a week at the least. Okay, next up, I'm really excited because Jaybrin had a sample sale this week and I actually went, it was really good, and I wore this look to the sample sale because I figured why not wear a pair of their J brand jeans. I love these jeans. These are the Natasha fit. I love them. I believe my color is called the Bluebird, but it's such a dark blue that it almost looks black. So how I kind of styled this, I felt like a little like, like I like belonged in like England or something this day, but I really liked the look. I paired it back with a gray plaid baker boy hat a gray sweater and gray booties this way the jeans kind of popped because it was the only dark element to the look and i felt like it was still really cute for fall it was still edgy but it was kind of like not so edgy it was kind of like cute and cozy look which i feel like is kind of different for me but i really liked it i really loved this whole look the whole day i wore it i just felt really cute and i got a lot of compliments 
Okay, next up, this look is like, in my opinion, I, like I love this look. I'm a huge fan of leather. I know you guys notice this. I always wear leather and I found these red leather leggings at Zara and I had to have them. First off, they were only $35.90, so the price was amazing. Perfect for Friday, Saturday night going out with your friends. I paired it back with a white crop top, a black leather jacket and black booties kept it very simple let the pants speak but you could definitely pair it back with a graphic tee you could pair it back with a plaid coat you could pair it back with so many different things but i love leather on leather so i really wanted to play on that trend and so i did black leather i had the matching red leather jacket and i was so close to wearing it but it was just a little too like britney spears oops i did it again moment so had a swerve from that one but anyway I love how it came out with the black leather jacket I just felt super like edgy and chic and like don't fuck with me type of vibe okay next up I am obsessed with these trousers I got so many DMs about them even my friends were like can I buy them off of you and I'm like no I'm not they're not for sale like I love them they were a tad big on me so I might get them altered but they're from Zara they are amazing this day I had a few meetings one of my meetings was actually with J brand so I wanted to look professional but yet now in fashion i feel like you don't have to be so so professional so i want it to be professional but kind of cool and casual at the same time so i paired it back with a white t-shirt black booties and a really cute snake print bag from zara i spaced out for a moment um basically this whole look was from zara but i loved these trousers i thought they were so sexy but yet chic and professional I loved the striping on them they really elongated my body because they're so long and flared and yeah they're just really great and i am loving them all right guys so that is seven looks that i'm currently wearing for fall i really hope that these looks help you whether you're going out going to work going to lunch with friends or family anything you have going on i feel like there's a look in here that's for you which is why i didn't you know separate it by saying this is my monday my tuesday my wednesday i figured i would give you seven looks you could decide which fits your lifestyle better let me know if you like this style video if not i can actually show you what i personally wore on my monday my tuesday my wednesday um but i figured this would be a little bit more flexible for you guys to decide but let me know down below i'm obviously here to do what you guys want to see but thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video let me know which look was your favorite make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and i will see you guys in my next video